Alright guys, welcome back, and we're here to talk about the new update, because the Elite Barbarians are coming out to, to, tomorrow, at midnight tonight, they are coming out, and if I have enough gems, I honestly think I'm, gonna, I'm going to buy the stack. I mean, you guys know, who've been watching me for a while, I only like to use my gems for things that I feel like I'm going to like need them for, so like the legendary chests and whatnot. But honestly, I think these barbs are literally going to be so awesome that, I mean, I don't see how I can't buy them. Because you guys know how much I love barbarians. I mean, that is a true statement. You can see how high level my barbs are if I was I had enough gold to upgrade them. And I want to get them max. So to have two types of barbs now, especially ones that are stronger but serve <coughs> a completely different purpose, are just awesome. I mean, it is really darn good. Now, deciding the use for them is very interesting, because I have different point of views on them. First of all, they're completely different than the regular bars, because they can be used offensively in a very strong way. Like, I typically will do sometimes, um, seriously? Oh, boy. I will typically sometimes do, um, barbs push, but sometimes the barbs won't even make it to the tower. Elite barbs will. Now, what I've thought about is potentially actually replacing my haul with the elite barbs because really the elite barbs are actually really darn good. I mean, it's that, it's that true of a statement. Like, they can be the offensive card. That's one thing I've had a, a difficult time with thinking about my deck. Like, where would I put them? Where would they fit? That's my kind of debatable thinking right now. And I honestly can't really decide. I mean, that part of me wants to just take out the fireball, but that's been very valuable to me. Although it hasn't been very valuable on um on um offense per se cuz my hog graveyard push costs 6 elixir. So, you know, it's just that kind of thinking. Where would it fit? or it may not it may they may just not be a very good cards for this deck. It may just be that simple. This is a hog graveyard deck, you know? It's not really has enough space maybe to carry another big counter, especially since I still have the Mega Minion in here. If I really did want to use the Elite Barbs in this deck, I would probably have to change something. Let me see, what's this first deck in here? Okay, this is just the golem deck that I put together. Yeah. I'm just going to screenshot that so that way I have it. But we are actually going to be trying out a new deck. But let me just see if I can put something together here that include that would include the Elite. Well, actually, you know, let's do that tomorrow when we get the Elite Barbs. Let's try out something else today. So what I am actually going to be trying out is a different deck. This is from a guy that um in our clan who just got the... Well, actually, he's almost at fourth. Did he leave? I think he left. He left? Really? Wow, yeah, I literally think he left. Are there any leave messages? Yeah, there he is. The wolf left. He was, um... Oh, he joined the actual... Oh, he joined the actual Nova Canada. Apparently, this is not the real one. So he actually went over there. <laughs> Alright, well... Basically, I had actually been copying some of his decks, and he's got a graveyard deck here. And look at his trophy count. He's been over 4,000 with this deck. So we're actually going to go ahead and copy that to slot one. Here is his deck right here that he's been using. I really do need to upgrade the tombstones. People say it is pretty good. We're just going to make a few changes to this deck so that way we can go ahead and use it. Instead of the ice golem, I'm actually going to throw the log in there because I feel like that's perfect substitution for it, I think. Um, instead of the tombstone, I'm actually going to throw the furnace in because I like the furnace. And my archers, unfortunately, are not high of a level, so I'm actually going to throw the ice wizard in there. They're kind of the same kind of card. So with a few modifications here to the deck that the wolf has, we basically have a little kind of si uh, a hog graveyard cycle deck kind of here. That's kind of what this is. So we're actually going to be jumping into some tournament standard battles if we can join a tournament and seeing how this deck actually works, because he's actually put together some pretty good decks that I have actually screenshotted. So now that he's gone, that is certainly, um... Because he had the graveyard, so it was definitely going to be a little frustrating, because I like just looking at the deck. Here we go, we got an open tournament here. I have the deck selected. Let's go ahead and jump in here and see what we can do. One thing that does worry me about this deck is that it has a lot of...
spells. Like, a lot, there aren't many, like, actual, like, counters, which does worry me a little bit. So, we're gonna have to definitely see how this works for sure. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and set up shop here first thing with our furnace. He's got a witch. Um, I'm actually gonna wait. Because of the amount of spells that I have, I feel like I need to save my fireball. We probably have giant witch right here. I've actually... Oh, Sparky! Okay... Oh no, Sparky's gonna fire the Ice Wizard. Slow him down enough. Oh my goodness, it did not hit the tower. But now we have enough elixir to go over something big here. Go, Meg, get a shot. Yes, Mega Minion got a shot. Why is your so I'm actually going to just... I know the Mega Minion's in the way. Okay, he just zapped him. That's fine, because there go my Fire Spears to take him out. There we go. So that's actually fine for us. We did a good amount of damage. Let's go ahead and wait till we have full elixir, and we're going to place down another furnace here to keep our um cycle going here. Keep our furnace up. That is the goal here with this with uh, my I that's my idea here. Let's go ahead and place down another furnace. There's the giant. Both these fire spirits may no, just that one, okay? Giant witch sparky. How interesting. Okay, all of that I'm gonna fireball. Oh, and the mini Pekka. Oh my goodness, let's actually zap all of that to get rid of the Mega Minion. Let's log all that back. Nice log right there on my part. Down goes his giant. Minimal damage done, though a lot of elixir wasted for me. He's going to have to do something to that Mega Minion or else he'll get a shot. He may not care because the tower's already low, yeah. Alright, let's wait a bit here to set up shop again with the furnace. Okay, there's Sparky. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and do that. Because that's actually like a per The graveyard is a perfect distraction to Sparky. And it's going to do some damage anyway. Oh, yeah. All that value. Fireball. All of it. Oh, I'm going to need to zap that anyway. So let's just zap all that away to make sure that we take it out. We're going to play all that. We're going to log. Oh, my goodness. I missed the mini P.E.K.K.A. Oh, no. Ugh. Take out Sparky. No, it didn't. I tower was not able to take out Sparky. Boy, that was a good counter push on his part. So we are not able to do it. Sparky is so hard to play against. Again, elite barbarians will really help with that. They are another Sparky counter. So I'm definitely looking forward to getting the elite barbarians for that. Because you guys know that I struggle to counter Sparky. We're actually going to log all that away. Because that's actually a pretty good log right there. We're going to fireball all of that. There we go. Oh gosh. Um, let's do that. And there we go. Now it's our turn here. Hog. Graveyard in the far corner. Alright, first things first, you know, you gotta draw me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, this really worries me because in overtime, Sparky decks can really go mad. Uh, Mini Pekka in the base is an interesting play. I haven't really seen that from many people. Gina, what happened? We're going to fireball all of that. Goodbye. And Mega Minion is down. Now we've got an Ice Wizard going in with a hog. Ice Wizard kills the Witch's Skeletons in one hit. There goes our hog. There goes the graveyard. Oh my goodness, it's not enough. I am a little bit away here. But I need to get one more push. Let's actually log all of that away to do some damage. Fireball. Oh my goodness, my Ice Wizard's barely alive. We are so close. I'm just going to literally do a hog zap because he has no defensive building. I know that. Zap the classic hog zap push will win it for us. Wow, that was actually really close. So, um, what do I think about that? It countered Sparky. Oh, good, the wolf is back. Good, he must have known that I was, um, making a video about him. Yeah, but we're just going over his deck. I mean, he's made a lot of decks. He made a Golem Graveyard deck, which I thought was really darn good. He's made a lot of decks. I mean, if he's, if you're watching this, Wolf, please... 
contact me on Skype and tell me all of your decks so that way I can all feature them all. They're all really darn good. And the thing that's like, I kind of embarrassing that I'm using him in this video because look at his card levels. I mean, a level seven hog. I have a level eight hog. Most of my rares are level eight by now. I mean, that's kind of pretty sad. Does have level two graveyard, but I mean. Who cares? So, we're going to jump into another battle of this deck. See how it works. Really, I want to see a Lava Hound. How does this work against a Lava Hound? Because I'm going to see a lot of Lava Hounds around 3,500 plus, I assume. Or once I start pushing. Oh, boy. Um, right in with the Hog. Okay. I'm actually literally just going to let that Furnace go down. He ar it already took a lot of damage. All right. Well, that was fine. Not worried about that. Because he just told me a lot about what he has. But what is this starting hand? Literally, I'm gonna, I just literally have to do with a solo graveyard. What's he going to play? Need to wait for those archers to get in range. And fireball. Seriously, what is this starting hand? Oh my goodness, and lag. What is what happened there? Oh my goodness, this is pretty sad. So I already lost this one. I guarantee he's cut. Yeah, there's his hog. I might as well let him three crown me at this point. <laughs> I lost due to lag. Luckily, it's a tournament battle. Wow, that was very. That's a level eight too. The lag really got me there. And what a bad deck. Hog Rage. I haven't seen that in forever, my goodness. Alrighty. Good luck. Double thumbs up again. Alright, this is level 9. So I, I would have beat that Hog Rage deck. That's not very hard to counter. He's going to set up shop with his Furnace. I'm literally going to do an Ice Wizard. Because I have a Furnace too. I want to match that up against his. His furnace actually planted to that side. Let me wait for him. There you go. He placed a troop. Actually, he placed archers, which is a good graveyard counter. So that's actually really good that I went in there. He's got barbarians. Okay. Oh, my goodness. That's value right there. That's value. Come on, Mega Minion. Come forward a little bit. Yes. Tracked everything right there. Let's go ahead and throw down our furnace. Okay, wow, wow, my one fire spirit. So our furnaces are going to cancel each other. Oh, a royal giant, okay. That takes absolutely no skill to use. <laughs> I love how much skill this guy has to use a royal giant in his deck, you know? And look at how strong he is. There's, just, I had to use an ice wizard there. But even if I had used a bigger counter, there's just nothing that I could have done against the Royal Giant right there. Now that I know he is a Royal Giant, though, I can actually mix up my Furnace placement a little bit. Oh my goodness, look, he mixed up his barbs. My hog's going to get a hit. Oh my goodness, that fireball was really late. Need to play that back there. Oh, no, I need to log this. Hoop. Now he's doing damage to that tower, too, which is not good. Let's zap it all, because I have nothing right now. That's one thing about this deck I don't like. It's all spells. So, you see, if he had, like, a fireball right now, and took, he would take out all my royal giant. There you go, a lightning. If he had been using that lightning, see, I have nothing now. I literally have to log all of that and see now, like, I may have taken his tower, but I have nothing now to counter this. So I need to let him take that. Oh my goodness, that was a terrible ice wizard placement. Okay, good, he turned. I'm gonna place my furnace back here because that's where the royal giant spot. Yeah, that's one thing. I don't. How did he reach for? Like, I can understand doing well with this, but how do you? How did he reach for? See, I have nothing. I literally have to go over graveyard. I have. There's no good counter right there to actually use. I hate 
can't help it. And look at that. I lost because that one archer. Like, I don't have any good counters. That's the issue. There's no, like, good counters in this deck that can actually, like, counter that. I don't really like that. He also used the golem deck, which I have screenshotted. But, um... I don't really want to pull it up right now because my golem's kind of low level, but, um... Yeah, this is certainly, um, interesting. So, I definitely... Definitely not the biggest fan of this deck. I'll put it like that. I don't think it has enough counters feet because if, if it's not that it's the ice golem Which is just a distraction. I just don't think it has enough counters to go against some um, things like the royal giant and whatnot I just don't think it has enough counters could it do better with something else possibly But I just don't think it's the best deck. So we're actually gonna jump back to this deck And we're gonna go troll a little bit because as you can see I got the tornado I was doing terrible with this deck earlier. The log, this deck I actually feel pretty comfortable with at tournaments. It's my tournament deck now. So we're actually going to jump into battle with the tornado. We're going to see if we can get someone to activate our king tower here. Now we only have like two or maybe maybe two more battles. We may only have one battle in this tournament if it goes to overtime. Let's see. I, were, I haven't ran into someone of a miner yet using the tornado, and I, if I have, I haven't had it in my hand. There's a miner! So I don't want to reveal that I have the tornado, that's for sure, because I want to wait and see if he mixes up his miner placement. Here, I have my tornado now, so I need him to just mix up his miner placement. I need him to place the miner in the back, and I'll be fine. Okay. Another Valkyrie with the hog. Oh, it's hog freeze. Okay. That's interesting. However, he played it very poorly, which means we're going to get a very strong counter push going here with, the, with four units going at the tower. Uh, 1140. He's not going to be able to defend that. He's a level eight. Yeah, he's done. He's done. Oh, a level seven skeleton army. Oh, my goodness. So sad. Gina, you got oh. Welp. Come on, play your miner now. I want you to activate my king tower. Perfect. He's got minions coming. I think it's probably because you dropped your router. Okay, let's try it. Does OJ's opinion serve right? Will the miner turn? No, he didn't turn. I needed to pull him just a little bit more. And I would have been fine. So the, he is, because if you place it there, that's the one place it won't get pulled. But anywhere else it will. Oh boy. Uh, graveyard. Okay. He's going to use the Graveyard Freeze tactic. Baby Dragon's going to go in. That actually worked pretty well, but now I'm ready for it. And once again, strong counter push that may get a three crown. Let's set up our furnace again. Come on, play your miner. No, that's not enough. I need to pull him just a bit more. Him. Dang it. He's just not getting pulled. No, it won't let you go in there. Let's split everything up here with our freeze. Oh my goodness, it's not going to work though. Graveyard takes it out. Okay, so we're going to need to get a three crown here. Shouldn't be too bad. Alright, let's go here. Oh, he froze. I'm going to have to use a tornado to damage those minions. That is not very good. Let's go giant here. I may not even need to show Sparky. Second Mega Minion goes in. This could be game right here. Two Mega Minions. What can he do here? He can just distract with the Valkyrie. I think this may be it. Oh, my one Mega Minion is going to take out that. And there goes my giant for... The oh, he's going to freeze. Last Desperation. My giant will not get the final hit. Neither will my dragons. We're going to drop another giant down to go for this. And the baby dragon gets the final, the final one. Wow. <laughs> 
Let's jump into another one here. Boy, that was so close. So, the miner can be pulled from that position. I just needed to make it a little bit more over. I needed to put the tornado one tile over. I don't know why I never fixed it. Oh, a level 4 tombstone. Ooh. So he's definitely using a meta deck. There is no question about that. So we'll have a level 4. Oh. No! Oh my goodness! That would have done it! Ah! Oh, had the miner lived a little bit more, that would have done it! Oh my goodness! That would have been so funny! Yeah. No, it won't. It's full. Dang it. I shouldn't have done it anyway, because I should have known the towers were going to take it out. Here's a Lava Hound. Here's a Meta Deck, guys. Let's do that. Where's your Miner? Oh! Mirrored Lava Hounds! Wow, mirror lava hounds I have never seen before. Oh my goodness, he's actually going to take out. Go Mega Minion. Oh my goodness, we just defended mirror lava hounds. Yeah, like... Let's go there. Come on, play your minor. We're going to go with an air troop here. There's the mega. Our mega is going to kill. There's a mirror mega. Wait, how is his second? Oh, his mirror must be a very low level mirror. That's why. Come on. Okay, he's not going to play his minor. He probably has stopped playing it because he knows that I can pull it to the king tower. Oh my goodness, that was perfect fireball by him, but we're going to wreck that. You know, the bad thing is, I haven't actually touched his tower yet, which is the sad part. But now we're going to get our good push going, because we've got the Inferno Dragon in here going on offense. There goes that. Sparky is still going. He's going to fireball it in hope. Sparky's going to get a shot. And there goes our baby dragon that may win it. No, he's not going to win it. We're going to go giant in the back. Ice Wizard may do it. Ice Wizard may do it. Yes. And we did it. He did not play his minor again, which was smart on his part because I... Could have probably pulled it to the King Tower. Oh, Tournament is unfortunately scary. ending. What's this guy had? Does he have a minor? No, so I am not going to friendly battle you, unfortunately. Waiting for the last battles to end. We are not going to place here, I believe. Wow. Where are we? No, we are not going to place. Barely. Now. Unless if that person loses and we... No, but that person's in front of us. So no, we are not going to place in this tournament. Hmm. Dang it, I wanted to play somewhat of a minor to see if I could, um... See if I could pull it. Come on, these last few battles. Let's, let's watch this one. Since this one's almost done. Oh, this one's about to be done. Oh, yeah, Lumberjack right there. Oh, no, that's, that's done. That is done anyway. <laughs> Doesn't even matter. Alrighty, so that one is over quickly. Alrighty. I just want to see if I can join another tournament potentially after this one. Alright, so yep, we are not going to place. That person is, wow, one off of placing. <laughs> How's this one going to end? Ten seconds. Yep, nothing this guy can do. 
So, Nito wins this one. And that is this tournament is done. Oh, wow. This battle doesn't even matter. Why are you even trying? No one's won it either. This is going to go into overtime. And the level 8 has beaten the level 9. Oh wow, overtime almost ended. <laughs> and there you go. We did not place by one. Let's see yeah, if we can join another. I think they have good customer service. Nothing under that. For some reason, typing like a letter and an A on the left side of the keyboard typically brings up open tournaments. That's something I found. I'm not sure why. But it does. Let's try that. No, nothing there. Let's try that. It's trying a bunch of letters. Does anybody know where cameras are on this map? During the weekdays, this is a very effective way I'm finding to get tournaments. Uh. That starts in a while, so I can't. I want to try to get one now. Come on, nothing. Nope, just starts, I think. Fuse, maybe? Oh, ends in four minutes. I can do one battle. Let's try one battle here. Please have a miner, whoever battles me. Have a miner, or maybe even a goblin barrel. I've tried pulling the goblin like, barrel. Like, Hasn't really worked that well for me. Come on, though. Have a miner. Whoever I battle, have a miner, please. Here we go. Come on. Okay. Have a miner here so that I can pull. I was having no success with this deck earlier today. Oh, right off the bat with that, um, and I have no ground troops right now, so that that mini P.E.K.K.A. is going to get a swing. Let's go for counter push now. Giant's in. Baby Dragon, however, is going to speed ahead, and he's going to fireball all of it. Where's the fuser? Oh, never mind. However, my Giant is there going off. Okay, let's just go Furnace. I don't want to reveal that I have the Tornado yet. All right, come on, have a miner. He probably, well, he may. He no, has he minions. Were Gonna go ice wizard there to make sure that that musketeer does not oh, hit our nice. furnace. The goal here, we gotta keep our furnace alive. Where was that? Uh, oh, he's gonna log. Wow, what a wow! I'm gonna give him a thumbs up for that. I don't know. What? Oh, he's got Sparky, too. Let's go there. And Giant in the front. Good job. Oh, my goodness. The Sparky got taken out by his Sparky. What? We're going to tornado all that. How is Sparky? We're actually doing that. Oh my goodness, Sparky's going to get two shots. See, I'm telling you, I have a hard time countering Sparky. Now, if I had a log there, like my regular deck for this one, I could have logged Sparky back, and that push would have actually turned out fine. I'm going to actually let that Musketeer completely get on my King Tower. Because the King Tower, I'm not too worried about. And let's actually start going for this side, too. Because his Sparky's coming that way. So we're going to get everything to go over here. Then we're just going to throw a giant over there with a mega. And we're going to tornado all of that.
and a law and use our ice wizard for that. We're going to Inferno Dragon here. Nothing we can do about this one, unfortunately. But, you know, it's a, it's Sparky. Honestly, we outplayed him because it's Sparky. We literally, our cards are just completely out of rotation. So I'm not too worried about that. It's very difficult to counter Sparky, as you guys already know. And I don't have my log. I'm trying the tornado to try to get a miner. <laughs> Which is very difficult to use. Yeah, you can stop BMing and doing all of that. Oh, 30 seconds. Come on, give me another battle in. Yes, have a miner. Please, sir, with no clan, have a miner. Don't play it first, though. A prince. Oh, boy, that's actually not good because I don't have any ground counters yet. Boy, my cards are in such bad rotation this time. He literally lightning the Mega Minion. Wow. Alright, that shouldn't be a big deal. That sh those skeletons should get taken out by the tower. Okay, there goes Sparky. Is anybody in it? Gonna go giant in front. I'm not gonna go Inferno Dragon. I just wanna go Ice Wizard here. Yep, that's why. Yes, he's got a miner. He didn't exactly play it on the on the tower. He used it for Sparky, but now I know that he has it, so I can get ready for him to activate my King Tower. Let's actually play our furnace back here. Let's go Baby Dragon. Now, hopefully he plays his Miner in the back, so that way I can use the Tornado here to take it out. He's going to... Mega Minion's going to get a shot. Start a Giant in the back. Come on, use your miner. Rip. Yeah, I should have. Perfect. Yes! Yes! <laughs> what? He activated it! Yes! Let's go with a Sparky. Let's go with the Furnace here to take all that out. My King Tower is now activated, guys. That's insane. We actually got it to work. He actually activated my king tower. That is awesome. He's got both of our towers pretty low, but I'm not even worried. We got him to activate our king tower. That is all that I was worried about there. <laughs> okay, we're not going to actually use Sparky this time. We're actually going to go with the Inferno Dragon and the Baby Dragon. Can we, can we do situations together? Uh, King Tower and Mega Minion. Oh my goodness. We actually got that. What? And he was lightninging. Wow. As he lightninged, we did it. Wow. Well, I am putting the log back in there. I'm sorry, guys. Tornado is very bad for this deck. For this deck. I'm not saying it's bad in general. This deck we're going to continue to use. We'll see what happens when the Elite Barbs come out. How we want to use them. Pretty sure I'm going to buy them. This deck, sorry the wolf. Um, contact me please so we can look at your other decks. <laughs> this one is not, definitely not the best in my opinion. Even, I mean, clearly it is pretty good because he's got an over 4,000. I may just need practice with it, but... Overall, like this, I'm just not seeing many counters to things, and things that are easily counterable. Like, if I use a Tombstone for the Royal Giant, we can simply zap the Skeletons. Like, you know, it's not... Too, I, I just don't see enough um, potential in this. Like, literally, two units that are not... That are, like, regular, like, counters. I just don't see enough in that. Alright, well, that's gonna be it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow with the Elite Barbs.